change in lifestyle and eating habits have led to increase in cases of breast cancer among the women in the age group of 40 to 50 years. The specialist at Shada Hospital explained more about it. Breast cancer is a leading uh, cause of death uh, in a female because it's one of the commonest uh, specific cancer in a woman of an age group from 40 to 59 year of, years of age. Now since it is uh, it accounts for a larger number of patients uh, and if in India practically uh, one woman out of 28 is presenting with breast cancer and if you really see the data 27% of the patients which are of this country in total if we take an account of uh, India, US and China we find that almost one third of the global breast cancer burden is uh, being seen in these three major countries. normal physiological reproductive function whenever they are not being performed. For example, if a female is not married, for example, if a female uh, has a child and doesn't feed a child. So these are certain physiological factors uh, which can be responsible for uh, causing breast cancer. Um, it could be an early menarche, it could be uh, I mean, a lady getting married at a very uh, late age group, patient is obese. Uh, patient has got a, um, a, a lifestyle problems, uh, either obesity uh, because of uh, um, met um, met because of uh, many uh, many other factors, or patient is taking uh, alcohol. So uh, these plus um, what was more prevalent, the patients were uh, to avoid a uh, I mean a pregnancy, uh, or uh, sometimes these patients are on estrogen replacement therapies. So. Uh, so these, uh, these drugs were also responsible for breast cancer. Early stage of a disease may, means uh, we, we, sh we should be able to diagnose breast cancer patient usually present with either a lump or some discharge through a nipple or some little changes in the skin which, uh, of the breast which the patient can have. There can be some ulcers, there can be some thickening of a breast and uh, plus what you may find maybe some redness, may, uh, maybe some inflammatory changes and with all these uh, this thing if a uh, patient when coming to us we have to make an early diagnosis. The treatment would uh, be depending on uh, what is the size of the tumor and what is the age of a patient and whether the patient is in a premenopausal or a postmenopausal phase. Now, uh, if the size of the tumor is uh, one centimeter or less than a centimeter in size, then we can afford to, and a lady is young, and we can afford to uh, a conservative uh, breast surgery. We can tell to the lady, uh, see, uh, it's a small size lump, we can go for a uh, only lump removal and a small little amount of a tissue around that lump. So the advantage to, uh, of the surgery is that when you're just removing the lump, the breast is preserved. So a young lady would prefer a surgery where the breast is uh, preserved or conserved. Whenever we are doing this, we always expect that lady that she should come for a follow-up and if there is any recurrence or anything, we can do a further treatment. So if that is possible and if, uh, she is in a very early stage 1 cancer, we can offer her a conservative breast surgery. Now if a patient is in, of a little advanced uh, this thing, that there is a lump which is palpable more than 2 centimeters in size. Uh, there, uh, in most of these patients, we also do a um, axillary uh, uh, lymph node examination, and if you find the lymph nodes are also palpable, we go for a uh, a surgery, and that surgery we call it as a mastectomy, or we call it as a modified radical mastectomy. In that surgery, we remove the breast completely, and uh, plus we also uh, remove the lymph nodes if. Uh, if they are palpable. There, uh, uh, we can identify these lymph nodes before the surgery also whether they are involved or not but if, if they are, we are not doing it so we can do even remove an axillary lymph node at the same time. So that is a surgery but in those conditions the patient is losing a complete breast. The lifestyle mod modification can be done. So if, uh, if you're more, more on a, it's being seen in a now being seen even in a uh, rich communities also. So you can avoid a fatty uh, meals, obesity can be avoided, then alcohol can be avoided uh, because these are uh, uh, the triggering factors for an, this thing. Oral contraceptives to be avoided or, or an estrogen replacement therapies uh, should be avoided. 
uh, then the patient should, particularly those patients who have got a family history of breast cancer, they should be more conservative, um, they should be more concerned about uh, this thing and they can get their uh, repeat mammographies or uh, their uh, gene status can be uh, determined. In Sharda Hospital, uh, we have uh, almost all the facilities uh, from uh, making, a, uh, making a complete diagnosis, investigating a patient completely. We have got a mammogram, we have got a CD scan, we have an MRI scan, uh, we got an ultrasound. True cut biopsies, we have an histopathological examination. So we can make a, uh, 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 make a diagnosis, establish a diagnosis. Third, we have got, uh, we got a mammogram where we can do a screening. I mean, we have got a, uh, uh, I mean, a mammographic machine where we can do a screening we, and uh, to identify the breast cancer. Uh, so all these modalities are available in a hospital where we can do it. Now, as far as the treatment is concerned, we, uh, we can offer all surgical treatment to these patients uh, uh, then and which we have been doing it over here uh, uh, for a long period of time. Then we have now we have an oncologist also so we can offer a chemotherapy, uh, a hormonal therapy also. The only thing we uh, is, is if at all whenever it required a radiation therapy that uh, for that we may have to refer to the patient to a particular radiotherapy center.